If your partner is not so great with managing money, my advice to you is to be honest and transparent and open. You have to sit down and you can't judge them. You have to make them feel like they can come to you. You have to let them tell you the whole thing and you have to listen quietly. And then don't, I mean, you can be mad, but don't blame them. Don't make it worse. You're working together, you're partners. Like, just come at it from a place where like, okay, how can we move forward? If they have debt, make a plan together on how you're gonna pay that debt off. I don't think, I don't think you necessarily have to contribute to them paying off that debt as that is their thing and you have your own thing and I don't I don't love the idea that it becomes a collective problem but in terms of getting you know if you want to get a house or any other kind of stuff if you get married that does become your problem so just make sure that they have a plan in place and support them be like a cheerleader cuz it's really emotional and and scary and probably you'll both cry I think in the past it was pretty expected that if you got married, you and your partner would have a joint bank account. I think now people are sort of like, that's not a great idea. My mom's a divorce attorney, so she goes to bat for prenups a lot. She's really into prenups. If I didn't get a prenup, she would disown me. So, um, but it makes sense, right? Because financial abuse is such a huge problem that we don't talk about in this country. Susie Orman talks a lot about financial abuse where one partner can't leave or one partner controls the other partner using money. And that's super common. Um, and so I think, just be very careful. There's also this writer named Paulette Perhatch who talks a lot about having an F off fund specifically for women because you never know what's gonna happen. So she advises you to have a separate fund if you can for if you find out that your boss is sexually harassing people or if they sexually harass you, you need to get out of that job immediately. If your you know, partner becomes abusive, you need to get out of there immediately. Uh, just like a little bit of a protection, which is terrible, but that's the world we live in. I have a girlfriend, we don't have uh, a road, gender roles roadmap for how this is gonna go, but I make more money than her. So, you know, we have to talk all the time about like, if we move in together, you know, who, what's the rent gonna be like and how can we meet in the middle and stuff like that. But also, I think there's other things you can contribute to a relationship besides money. So I think a big thing that we don't talk about is, you know, if one partner is working a lot and the other partner is the one who does laundry, takes care of the dog, does the dishes, that is just as valid of a contribution. So I, it can't all be about money, but I do think you have to sit down and be like, okay, what, are, what is everybody contributing?